Uh, it's a difficult situation because unlike fibroids, there is no capsule. So with fibroids, the surgeon can just sort of enucleate the fibroid and close it together and it's a piece of cake. But with adenomyosis, there's no capsule. And what it is is invasion of the uterine muscle by the endometrial cells of the lining of your uterus. It's hard. On histology, it looks like cancer, but it's not cancer, it's benign, but it's really, really miserable. And the only way to operate on it is the way we describe in my website, uh, the OSADA procedure. And it works, it's really very reliable. But here's the story. If it's minimal lesion adenomyosis, uh, you get pregnant with it and it's just fine. But if it's a huge adenomyosis, you're not going to get pregnant until that adenomyosis is fixed. And um, so how do you know whether it's big or small? Well, I'll tell you, frankly, if you have periods that last a long time and are super painful and miserable, uh, then it's probably a big adenomyosis that requires surgery. If your periods aren't so terribly abnormal, then I think you can just get pregnant and the adenomyosis has no impact on whether you get pregnant or not. There may be other problems, but the adenomyosis isn't a problem unless it's giving you really nasty menstrual symptoms. And of course, we check that out with ultrasound, but I'm just giving you an idea so you'll understand whether you need surgery for it or not.